Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video we are going to talk about Trichuris trichiura. This is a continuation of the parasitology series, especially the nematode series and this is the third video in the nematode series. Before watching today's video you should watch the nematodes introduction video because that is going to help you a lot in understanding today's video. Before starting today's video, I like to tell that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comments section. Let's get started. Trichurus trichura. It is also called as the whipworm. It is an intestinal nematode. It is responsible for causing trichuriasis or whipworm infection. As in this figure, you can see on the right side is its male. It is whip-like. This is its handle and this one is the lash. And this is female. This organism is not hermaphroditic. We'll discuss about the male and female and their characteristics and their structure in the morphology. Lecture outline. I have introduced you guys to the Trichurius trichiura. Now we'll talk about its morphology, then habitat and transmission, life cycle, pathogenesis and epidemiology, clinical findings, lab diagnosis, treatment, and then the prevention. Before starting the morphology, I like to tell that there are three developmental stages that exist in the life cycle. First one is egg, second one is larva, and the third one is adult. Egg. It is barrel or lamin shaped. It has bipolar protuberances. Uh, it has the polar plugs. Uh, on both the sides. It is thick shelled. As you can see in this picture, this is the barrel. Um, okay, on the right side, compare both of them, the egg and the barrel. Look at the barrel. Its upper and lower parts are narrow as compared to the middle one, which is widest part. So now look at the egg. Same goes for it. It is wide from the center and narrow from top and the bottom. It also resembles the lemon because lemon is also wide from the center and narrow from top and the bottom. And it has a thick shell size. Its size varies from 50 to 55 micrometers by 20 to 25 micrometers. Color. It is brown in color but appears pink on edge and is stained. It stains for hematoxylin and eosin stain. This third one on the right side. This is pink due to the H and E stain, but the remaining two ones are brown in color with their thick shell. The infective stage of egg is that when egg is embryonated, and when egg is unembryonated, then it is in its diagnostic stage. Egg passes in the stool when it is in its diagnostic stage. And the second stage in the life cycle is larva. It hatches from the egg in the small intestine and moves towards the large intestine, the colon, and then get, um, gets mature there. The third stage is adult worm. Let's talk about its structure. It has whip like appearance. Are you guys familiar with the whip? Just look at this. It is a whip. And this is the worm. And both resemble. That's why it is also called as a whipworm. It has narrow anterior end, which is called as esophageal end. Um, it has shorter and thicker posterior end. It attaches to the host to the slender anterior and it feeds on the tissue secretions instead of the blood. And it does have a cuticle. If you guys remember from my nematodes introduction video, what is a cuticle? It is a highly resistant layer that protects the worm. As uh, nematodes are not hermaphroditic organisms like trematodes, uh, both the male and female live together but are separated. Uh, the hermaphroditic organisms are those uh, in which both the male and female reproductive organs are in one body. Uh, in this case, in the case of Trichurus trichiura, the females are larger than males. The posterior end of females is round and that of males is coiled. Size. As we know that female is larger than the male, so the size of male is 30 to 45 millimeters and that of female is 
35 to 50 millimeters. They are pinkish or white in color. Lifespan of adult worms is about one year. Now look at the structure of the adult whipworm. On the left side, you can see this is a male whipworm and this is a female. Female is larger as compared to the male and the posterior of the female is straight and that of the male is called um, not the female posterior is not straight, it is round. On the right side, you can see that this is the internal structure of this adult whipworm, the female whipworm. It has got some eggs, the uterine tubules, intestine, and so on and so forth. Habitat. Host. Human beings are the host for worms because worms are responsible for causing infection in the human beings. And eggs deposit in warm, moist soil for some time. So the habitat of eggs is soil. Transmission. Transmission occurs by a fecal oral route or touching the soil. Uh, it might be like some people walk barefoot on the soil so they might get those eggs on their foot and then it enters their body so it's responsible for causing that infection, the whipworm infection. Life cycle. It has two stages. The first one is human cycle and the second one is external environment cycle. Let's discuss human cycle first. Humans are infected by ingesting worm eggs in the food or water contaminated with human feces. The eggs hatch in the small intestine where the larvae differentiate into immature adults. These immature adults migrate to the colon where they mature, mat, and produce thousands of fertilized eggs daily. Female begins to oviposition uh, 60 to 70 days after infection. Oviposition means uh, to lay eggs. And the number of eggs varies from 3,000 to 20,000 eggs per day. And then after the release of eggs, those eggs are passed in the feces. When those eggs are passed in feces, they deposit in warm, moist soil. Then the external environment cycle starts, where they form embryos. When the embryonated eggs are ingested, the cycle is completed. And you know what? These eggs become infected within 15 to 30 days. Diagrammatic representation of life cycle of Trichurus trichura. It starts here when the unembryonated eggs are passed in feces. For becoming embryonated, it has to pass through certain stages. The first one is the two cell stage and then the advanced cleavage stage. After these two stages, it will become embryonated. When those embryonated eggs are ingested by human beings, uh, they get infected. In the small intestine, the eggs will hatch and the larva is released larvae are released then these larvae move towards the large intestine in the colon where they get mature into the adult worms the adult female releases thousands of eggs and then those unembryonated eggs are again released in the human feces and then the cycle is repeated pathogenesis although adult trichurus worm borrow their hair-like anterior ends into the intestinal mucosa. They do not cause significant anemia unlike the hookworms. Trichurus may cause diarrhea but most infections are asymptomatic. Trichurus may also cause rectal prolapse in children with heavy infection. Prolapse results from increased peristalsis that occurs in an effort to expel the worms. The whitish worms may be seen on prolapsed mucosa. Epidemiology Whipworm infection occurs worldwide, especially in the tropics. More than 500 million people are affected. In the United States, it occurs mainly in southern states. Clinical findings This disease is mostly asymptomatic, but diarrhea, the bloody diarrhea, can occur. Anemia um, unlike those of hookworms, rectal prolapse can occur, and nausea. You can remember it by the mnemonic DARN, D-A-R-N. D is for diarrhea, A is for anemia, R is for rectal prolapse, and is for nausea. Increased effort to expel worms, abdominal pain, undernutrition. Lab diagnosis. We'll need sample of feces. 
Diagnosis is based on finding the typical ax that is barrel shaped or lemon shaped with a plug at each end in the feces under the microscope. We can also count the number of eggs. Some other techniques to diagnose it are anoscopy, proctoscopy, colonoscopy, or we can also go for endoscopy. Treatment. The drugs of choice for trichurus trichuria infection are albendazole, mabendazole, and ivermectin. We can also give some iron supplements to treat anemia because this is due to the loss of blood. Prevention. Prevention involves good hand and foot food hygiene, proper disposal of human feces can prevent transmission and people should avoid walking barefoot because there might be some eggs deposited on the soil that can cause infection. All right, guys, let's do everything quickly. The organism is Trichurus trichura. Its common name is whipworm and it is responsible for causing trichuriasis. Mode of transmission. Its transmission occurs via fecal oral route by ingesting the warm eggs or by consuming food or water contaminated with human feces and walking barefoot on the soil. Hosts are humans and for eggs the habitat is soil. Endemic areas are worldwide, especially tropics. Primary location for infection is intestine. Diagnosis is based on finding the eggs in this tool. Drugs used for treatment are albendazole, mabendazole, and ivermectin. Categories intestinal nematode, it has no insect vector. The stage that infects humans is the egg, and the stage in humans most associated with the disease is our worms in the colon, which may cause rectal prolapse. We have discussed that in the pathogenesis. Important stage outside humans are the eggs that survive in the environment. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You've learned something. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my socials. I've got my Instagram where I upload amazing infographics for you guys. For example, take this one where I have uploaded amazing resources for pathology, which textbooks you can use, uh, which online resources like YouTube channels, websites, apps, uh, flashcards you can use and some techniques as well. I've got my Twitter and I really upload blogs, so do check them out. Till next time, assalamu alaikum.